I'm Kiki. And I'm Keisha. And, and we, we are, are Super Mom, Mom DIY. DIY. Did my doorbell just ring? The world? This time of night, who is calling me? What? An envelope. What is this about? So you think you can create? Wow. It's raining, dark and stormy. I don't see nobody. The world. So let me get my shotgun. So you think you can create? What? Who would send this to me? Let's see here. I see you in your little YouTube channels. You seem to be pretty creative. Creating natural hairstyles. Making stuff out of stuff out of stuff. That's already stuff? Well, I have a challenge for you. I bet you can't combine the two and make one amazing ornament. You have one day and a budget of $5. Now get to it or else. CC, gaudy is good. Wow, well, got a challenge. Guess I'm gonna have to get to it. Gaudy girl is on. So my inspiration for my ornament is my Mother Earth tea or Natural Earth tea. Um, I drew the sketch that you see in the left and I made it into t-shirts on my Mahogany Knots channel. So what you're going to need is you'll need some brown polymer clay, blue polymer clay, and green polymer clay, along with a long earring pin you can find in your jewelry uh, creation section. Some optional items are rhinestones, false lashes, and red craft paint. So let's get started. I'm going to take my brown polymer clay, and they come in a lot of different shades. Use whatever skin tone you want. Um, and I'm going to make a ball of it. I take half of that block make a ball of it, flatten it out, and then I'm going to draw on my face with my carving tool. Now you don't have to have carving tools. Um, I'm a gadget person, so I always get all types of tools. But you can definitely use like even just a skewer. A toothpick will work just as fine. So I'm going to carve out the chin, the ears, and then I'm going to make a little wavy line to replicate like a hairline. All right, so once I have my picture set, then if you mess up, just smooth it over with your finger and retrace. Once you get it like you want to, then carve it out with that tool. Press it out, and now you have your face. So what I'm doing here is just smoothing out the edges a little bit um, so that it'll be nice and smooth. So next, I'm going to take an ounce and a half, no, an ounce, I'm sorry, of the blue polymer clay, roll it in a ball, flatten it out, and I'm using my knuckles to try and make some indentations to replicate an afro or uh, natural hair. But that wasn't working. So I have this other tool that I broke and it has a real rough edge on it. So I'm just using that to try and make some texture to replicate an afro. Now I need to make a section or indentation where the face will go. So I'm pressing it in and then I'm going to cut off the little bottom tip um, just so it's not too long. But you see, I'm also kind of raising it so that I will have some hair covering the hairline. Um, so it's, the face is not just sitting on top. It actually looks like it's sitting inside of that hair. So just like so, you sit your face in. Make sure the ears are still sticking out. But kind of bring some of that hair and that hairline across the top down a little bit so it comes like over the face. Next, taking your green polymer clay, again, flattening it out. I'm cutting out a little Christmas tree, and I'm using this tool to try to give me a little bit of tree type of texture, but that didn't last because I got overzealous with it. Anyway, just stick your tree on, and there we have our face with our blue afro and our Christmas tree. Adding a little more indentations for texture. So now I need to make the lips. Take a small piece of your brown polymer clay, make a little oval shape, and then start to 
pinch it on the corners um, so that you can have a smile. And I'm making an indentation at the top because this is going to be female lips. So using that tool just to make a nice little round indentation at the top. And then I'm just going to sit that on top of the face. Press it a little bit, but not so much that it flattens out. All right. I'm also going to go and make a little line in between to show the difference in the top and the bottom lip. So now my ornament needs a nose. So take another piece of small uh, of polymer clay, of the brown polymer clay, roll it into an oval, pinch it on the sides, and then press it on the bottom to make a nose. And of course, make this nose whatever shape you feel comfortable with. then just stick it in place. So now you need to stick your earring, your jewelry making pin in down the top of it so that way you have something to hang your ornament little wire deal in. So here we are. My face is all done. So what you need to do next is you're going to bake your polymer clay based on whatever instructions are on the package. So my package had me bake it at 300 degrees for 10 minutes and this is what it looks like done. So now for the optional parts. So I want this to be a female so I'm going to use my son's craft paint to paint her lips red. I put on like three coats to get it really red and then I'm going to use some lashes that I will never wear because they're crazy long and plasticky looking but anyway use some chibi lashes um, cut them to size they're already sticky and just stick them on. And my last little embellishment is to create earrings. So I'm using a little uh, glue. I'm using my cuticle stick in order to stick the little glue there. So I can glue on some rhinestones for earrings. And also I'm going to use those rhinestones to decorate the Christmas tree that's in her hair. Now had I been thinking, I would have poked a hole through her ears before I baked it. So I could have put like a little gold ring in there, a little fake gold ring that would have been cute but oh well I forgot so the little studs will work and that glue is purple but it does dry clear as you'll see so once you're all done there we go I put a coat of clear polish over my Christmas tree to give it a little shine hmm? what's this email I see you did good but this is not over. The hell? Who is watching me? Oh well. On to the next DIY challenge. So in the true holiday spirit of giving, Supermom DIY and Gaudi is Good are hosting a giveaway. So read the details below for your chance to win a $25 gift card to Lowe's or Home Depot to help you with any DIY projects that are on your to-do list. I include a link here for Gaudi is Good to access her channel and you can also subscribe to this link here by clicking on Supermom DIY. Good luck and I hope everyone has a wonderful and safe holiday season.